So, uh, James, uh, your scrape. Right. <laughs> this is now, these are, these are ones you can't do on the radio? or Yeah, it's very difficult, because you're very keen on me telling rude scrapes here that I can't tell on the radio. But I'm very shy. <laughs> so, I can either tell story of a horrendous gig or a lady. 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 <laughs> also, the phrase rude scrapes sounds phenomenal with your yeah. voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rude scrapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I did a gig in Bath. Oh, I love this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And um, unusually, <laughs> it went very well. <laughs> very good gig. And uh, I came off, and I was, uh, <laughs> I was... Do you know this story? <laughs> <laughs> so I was, watching, I was watching the rest of the gig from the back of the room, keeping myself to myself. And there was a hen night in. And normally hen nights don't pay any attention to me. But one of the hens broke away from the group and came over to me and said, you were very funny. And I said, oh, thank you very much. I was chatting to her, she's a lovely person. And uh, <laughs> at the end of the night, the, the... Oh, also, it should be pointed out that I was staying in a flat next door to the venue. Which is very clever. <laughs> and after the gig, the gig turns into a disco. Or as grown-ups would call it a nightclub. <laughs> Was there squash? There was, there was squash. <laughs> and all the boys were sitting on the chairs watching the girls dance. <laughs> so you thought the gig had gone so well you'd stay for the disco? Yeah, well, you know, I was, I was only staying next door anyway. And she was like, stay, you should stay. I was like, okay, I'll have a dance. And <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, everyone I was dancing. Everyone is picturing that in their heads currently. <laughs> dancing very nicely. And she said, my friend, the hen, is trying to get kisses from every man, so like a man to work her way through the alphabet. She hasn't got J yet, your name's James. But that's the most, that's the easiest letter to get, isn't it? Women's names. Mate, how did, how I was did outside you know going, that? for fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 I was inside telling that everyone was, my name was Jish Kumar. <laughs> <laughs> um, she said, so she said, do you want to go and kiss my friend? Because your name is, because you're J. And I said, I don't know. And she went, or you can practice on me if you like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't need practice. I went and kissed a mate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've done it, done it before. Um, it got to the end of the night, and she and she said, oh, "I'm I'm going to go home. I'll see. I live in Chippenham. I'm going home." I said, "Oh, I, I kind of looked a bit disappointed, maybe." I was like, oh, "Okay." And she went, "Well, why? Where are you go?" I said, "Well, oh, I'm just staying next door." And she went. You think I'm that? You think I'm that kind of person, do you? <laughs> I'm just gonna come next door with you. And I said, "Heavens no! I <laughs> no. I, I do you know what? So I even implied it. I'm gonna go next door on my own. I'll give you my number. We can we can meet up another time." Got into the flat. I was in the flat for about five minutes before I got a text from her that said, "Where are you?" <laughs> 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 I may have changed my mind. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm in the flat. So I, I came out uh, into the street. She was there. And she said, my friends have gone home to Chippenham. I decided to stay here. I was like, oh, great. We'll have a lovely time. So... <laughs> Did you actually say we we'll have, have a lovely, a lovely time? time. <laughs> <laughs> what were your plans? A Hashtag a sex. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've said heavens no, you can pretty much <laughs> say anything. So... Um, What's going on here? Sorry, I was going to ask for another beer because I was enjoying the story so much. That's fine. So, uh, she, she walks. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, so. how long is this fucking story, Josh? <laughs> Josh Getting goes. Four back out. <laughs> so, she comes into Hello. the flat. Hello? Yep. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, so you, you told time. her she was going to have a lovely time. Did you want to have a lovely time? Were you worried she was a little keen? No. I, don't, I, 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 I thought. If anything, that was playing into your hands. Be, I was, <laughs> Absolutely. Classic A caster. <laughs> Absolutely delighted. Couldn't believe it was happening, Josh. <laughs> What's the flat like? You presumably know this place. It's the Bath Comedian. Yeah, Bath Comedian flat. The flat is um, it's like one room that's been made into a six-bedroom flat, isn't it? 
and yeah. it has either no central heating or the heating is always on at max. Bingo. There we go. Heating on max, better yep. take our clothes off. <laughs> so we can have a lovely time. <laughs> Heavens, yes. <laughs> Now, she um, transformed <laughs> my life <laughs> my, into a my man. World. Um, <laughs> into a man. <laughs> she. I <I'll> say, Bath <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> so she, she had been a lovely lady in the disco. How old was she? Boy, my, my age. Oh, okay. My age. And um, as soon as we walked into the flat, I shut the door and she went, Right, go out and get me a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a scene from a Michael Haneke version of Transformers. Yeah. It's just called Emotional Transformers, yeah. where somebody comes in and goes, I'm having a great time, and then they immediately go, I want to kill you. Yeah, yeah. So, so you said no? Uh, well, I, I said... Uh, you, if you Were like, you drunk? No. Well, so, so to be fair, you, you had promised drunk. her a lovely time. Right? I had <laughs> a lovely time. I love the Did fact that lovely that time come with three prawn crackers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the fact she said, I'm not that kind of girl... And she's changed her mind, but then thinks, hang on. If I'm not that kind of girl, I'd probably have to have a meal first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the classy way to do this is to get a takeaway. Yeah, <laughs> set about for a Chinese takeaway. So she said, go and get me. It wasn't like, let's order a Chinese takeaway. It was like, go and get me a Chinese takeaway. And I said, we can, if you like, we can go out and we can like eat together. We can find a place and we can have a meal. And she went, no. Go out and get me a Chinese takeaway. So, of course, at this point, you thought, this girl's not for me. I thought, she is trying to rob the, the flat. <laughs> <laughs> She's heard about the Bath Comedia flat and its bounty. <laughs> <laughs> and she wants to get me out of the flat, and then when I come back, it'll be empty. Like, so I, I was like, we can go out and get a meal if you like. She said, no, you go and order me one. I said, like, I, don't, I don't feel like... I should go out and just like, get you a, some food. We can go, both go and get someone, could order some. And she says, no, you go out and get me someone, nothing. And I said, I don't know if I can do that. She was just like, well, at least make me a cup of tea. So I said, okay, I'll do that. She seems reasonable, though. She's gone from yeah. Chinese takeaway straight to tea, like without <laughs> any intermediary. Do you know she knows how to... It's good. She's a nice girl. <laughs> 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 I'm in the kitchen and wait, making us cups of tea. she with you? No, she's in the living room. I've left on her own. Case filling, in, filling our pockets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Case in the joint. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the TV out to, out to the Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't kissed anything beginning with T yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, making the teas, I come back into the living room and she has found and set up Twister. <laughs> <laughs> By herself. Number one thing that determines that that's a psychopath, mate. <laughs> yeah. You need to get out of there. So I was out of the teas and she went, we're playing this. <laughs> Very angrily she said that. We're playing this. And I went, are you sure? She went, it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it is wipe clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we started playing Twister, but there's two of us. And um, two-player Twister, I don't know if you've ever played two-player Twister, it, um, it lasts a long time. It's quite difficult. Uh, we're nowhere near each other for the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it only landed on feet for the whole thing. So we were just walking around a Twister map. <laughs> like a really slow version of those no dance way. machines. <laughs> yeah. Just nowhere near each other, just looking at each other from across the Twister mat, occasionally having a drink of tea because we could. <laughs> Just, just her moaning every now and again about wanting a spring roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Awkward. She's getting really angry as well that the Twister game isn't as sexy as she thought it was going to be. So she's very angry about it. And she said, and she just gave up. She said, this is stupid. This is a stupid game. Did you worry at this point that you picked a bad one? <laughs> yeah, at uh, this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I was concerned. Yeah. We then had an argument. <laughs> we had an argument about she <laughs> she said um, men are from Mars and women are from Venus 
And I, and I went, yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with that. And she went, no, but literally that. <laughs> 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 I, was, I said, well, not, not literally. <laughs> and she went, yes, literally, that's what I believe. I said, well, I don't know. She said, you don't believe that? I went, no. She said, what do you believe then? I said, oh, yeah, from Earth. <laughs> Did you actually say from Earth? From Earth. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I, I, oh. I have a theory that we're all from oh, Earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my belief. Yeah. That's just my you're, you're opinion. You're such a stick in the mud, eh, Castor? We're all from Earth. We all came from Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the name of a biology textbook. <laughs> Men are from Earth. Women are from Earth. Earth also. <laughs> so, what? The same part How of Earth. How long problem. did they argue? So she argued back? She argued back. At one point she said, <laughs> well, what about the creation story? in the Bible, and I said, I don't personally believe that, and she went, I do. And I went, y you said you believe we're from different planets. <laughs> <laughs> and she went, I'm allowed to contradict myself. I was like, oh, I'm not winning this argument. There's no <laughs> way. I mean, it's and then at the end of the argument, Do you she think went, she was trying to piss you off, or do you think she did believe? I haven't got a clue. I, I didn't know what was happening at that point. <laughs> I, I, I just played a game of a Twister, which ended in a draw, which I've never done before. <laughs> Was she, was she quite literally on red? Yeah, yeah. She was on the, uh, I, I, was, I was defending the fact that we're from Earth, so I didn't know what's happening. And <laughs> I can I just say on behalf of all of us, thank you yeah, yeah. Uh, for defending that position. <laughs> yeah. well, someone says it. But yeah. she ended the argument by going, oh, just shut up and run me a bath. <laughs> <laughs> so, of noodles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, ran I, mean, her. I mean a soup. <laughs> I ran her a bath. Did you run the bath? Yeah. You ran her a bath. Oh, you are. Uh, I ran her a what bubble, a bubble bath. You, it was a bubble what? bath. She was in bath. She other... was literally. We were in bath. But she, she, yeah. she, what, she, what that doesn't mean there's no what? law in bath. It's if somebody asked for a bath, you have to give it to them. <laughs> yeah. She had not gone back to Chippenham. She was stranded. It was my responsibility. Hey, what, Kester, what time what? of night was this? This is probably at this point, probably. About one in the morning. Wait, like you should have booked her a fight, flight back to fucking Venus. <laughs> like. Were there other comedians staying over no, watching this happen? No, it was just me. I had the flat to myself. That's why I was so confident early doors. <laughs> 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 so I ran her a bath. A bubble bath, and she had the bubble bath. And I kind of sat upstairs in the bedroom. Oh, so you weren't, in the you weren't allowed to be in the room when she had a bath? No way. <laughs> so bedroom. you became like... Her carer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking after her. Making her cups of tea, yes. walking around the room and then running her a bath. <laughs> yes. Listen wash me, James, wash me. Yes, yes, no one's from Earth. Now just uh, drink your tea, have your bath. <laughs> yeah. We'll so have a trip to Venus tomorrow <laughs> if, you, if you want. I was um, sitting in the bedroom reflecting on the evening so far. <laughs> and what were your reflections? I was, I was thinking, well, I'm not sure how this has happened, but in a typical male way, I was going, there is still a chance you might... This <laughs> 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 isn't over yet. And at absolute worst, I'm getting ten minutes of material. Out of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One day, Josh might get himself a radio show. That's what I was thinking. Um, and she came upstairs uh, in a towel, and... Um, we kissed for a while, and then. And so whoa. how did you do it? Whoa! 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 How do you care for God's sake? <laughs> <laughs> how did you? You don't part. just kiss after all that. There must have been some bartering or I'm some kind of bullshit thing you had to agree to. No, no, no. She, 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 it was different. She just came in. It was like she was just like, "Yep, totally, you passed the test." <laughs> <laughs> was it I kissing, know. or did she head straight for Venus? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Said. Yeah, I asked Talking you to buy me a not. Chinese meal. <laughs> you didn't do it. Pass. <laughs> I asked for teas. You made them. Pass. We played Twister. Draw. Perfect. <laughs> it's like the we weirdest argue. game of nightmare <laughs> ever. <laughs> and it was a stupid argument. You stood your ground. I asked you to run me a bath. You did. Now you get kisses. I feel sorry for the poor bastard that she met last time. They forked out for a Chinese takeaway and got <laughs> <football>. <laughs> Failed that the test at the first hurdle. hurdle yeah. well, he ran into the first hurdle. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so, after the kissing, <laughs> she's. So, 
Okay. It's where I get uncomfortable. <laughs> she basically brought up the question of, do you have a... a penis. Uh, penis, do you have? <laughs> do you have a condom? Was she saying that it, you should be safe when having a lovely yes. time? Yeah. We should, if we have a lovely time... Let's do it in the most loveliest way possible. <laughs> be safe about it. I didn't have any of that stuff because I am not used to being in these situations. And Did you say said, heavens no? I, I said heavens <laughs> no, I do not have that. So she said, I saw a 24-hour shop opposite the flat. You can go there and get one now and come she back. She saw a DVD player she was going to steal. That's <laughs> yeah. what 24-hour shop. It's right next to uh, Mr. Hose. Yeah. <laughs> Who is not a hose merchant. <laughs> <laughs> so she sent me out to buy them to the shop. I went to the shop, and the shop was closed. Uh, it was not open at all. Uh, and, but I, I was like, I can't just go back, because this uh, very demanding woman. And <laughs> I looked down the street, and I saw a nightclub that was open. So I thought, I'm going to go to the nightclub. And I'm there'll be toilets there that have them in. I'll go there. So I, I went to the nightclub. It's a very popular nightclub. I had to queue up for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only to be turned away at the door. <laughs> because they were closing. They were closing. They were closing now, mate. Forget it. Wait, you're not getting in. I saw another nightclub <laughs> on the horizon. And I thought, well, I'm going to walk there. So I walked there. Queued up for 10 minutes. Again, I was turned away, and I didn't get in. I was walking away from the night. I was like, oh, I've got to go back to the flat now. As I was walking away, there's a guy walking next to me. Such was my desperation, I turned to the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I said, hello. <laughs> oh, no. I don't suppose you happen to have any condoms on you. <laughs> and he went... Yeah, I've got a whole packet. I haven't used them, and he just gave them to me. And James and I have been friends ever <laughs> since. <laughs> I can't believe it. So I was like, great, I'm going to go home now. And then I turned to go home, and I realised I had walked so far from the flat, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> I'd walked about half an hour away from the flat in different directions, going to different nightclubs, trying to score <laughs> condoms. And... Got them from a stranger, and now I had no idea. I didn't know where. I, I, so I started just walking in the general direction, thinking maybe, maybe this is it. I've got more lost. I got more. Uh, by this point, by the way, I've been I've been away from the flat for nearly an hour. <laughs> At one point, I'm walking down a street, and then I hear like a rushing of feet, and then about f 14 teenagers jump out of an alleyway, surround me in a circle. I'm in the middle, I'm looking at them, and they're all looking at <laughs> uh, what's going to happen. And then they all start jumping up and down, clapping their hands, and sing, singing, Oli Bongo, Oli Oli Bongo. <laughs> over and over again, it's going, Oli Bongo, Oli Oli Bongo, Oli Bongo, Oli Oli Bongo, Oli Bongo. And I'm there, go, oh, this is not gone, this is not what I thought I'd be doing, but <laughs> not now. <laughs> singing Oli Bongo at me. <laughs> And then they run away giggling. <laughs> I got a cab. I got a cab back to the flat. I got to the flat. I, the door. I went in. I went up to the bedroom. And she's there in bed. I said, I'm back. I've got them. And she went, too bad I'm not in the mood anymore. Oh! And we went to sleep. And then an hour later, I was woken up by her leaving to get the train home. I said, oh, you go in. And she went, <laughs> this is a really sad end to the story, by the way. She just went, Oh, I don't be such a baby. And that was it. That was the end of the <laughs> night. <laughs> Literally the end of my evening. And I've still got that box of condoms to this day. <laughs> that was it. James A. Castellator, that one. <laughs> <laughs>